So in this video, I'm going to show you why it's so essential to buy a Kindle if you want to read more books and progress more in your life. Ever since I brought a Kindle, it's been an absolute game changer for me. So having the device has made it so much more effortless to read more books. So if you're someone that is indecisive about buying the Kindle, I'm going to mention three main reasons why you need to buy one in 2021. So let's get straight into the video. Yes, everybody, my name is Lamar. Welcome to my channel. I make videos on productivity, self-improvement, and I also document my business journey as well. So if you want to be that 1% better, then this is the right channel for you. So I'm going to get straight into it. So number one is it creates less tension to buy and read books. So this is kind of like the buying process exactly example so you go on Amazon you search for the book you buy the book you wait a couple of days and you receive the book and then you kind of if you're excited about the book you read it straight away but if you kind of like one of these people that kind of like both that they will buy like four books a month then it kind of like slows down the process and sometimes you're not really that excited to actually get into the book now with this bad boy all you've got to do is literally search the book you want buy it and it's literally in your library so you can go on and click and read it from there on so it then decreases like the tension to buy the books and actually read it so recently i've noticed with a kindle it decreases that tension to buy and read books and resulting in that I've obviously started to read more and more compared to a normal book. So number two, you don't have to worry about storage. Like I have literally bought 50, 60 books in the past couple of years. And as you can see above my head, I haven't got much room. <laughs> like literally my shelf is stacking up. Like I have not got any longer until, you know, <laughs> that literally falls on my head whilst I'm sleeping and like kills me or something or just gives me like my concussion like for all I know all I could take is like three to five more books on that and I'm dead I'm gone I'm finished I literally sleep just below it so obviously with the Kindle I've only got this six gigabyte version with ads I mean it doesn't really matter with ads I'm not really that bothered but it can hold up to four thousand books and about 16 to 20 audiobooks as well. So obviously for me, this is a safer option compared to the, you know, hundreds of, like nearly a hundred books up above my head. <laughs> and I think 4,000 books in this six gigabyte version is so much, especially, it just it's, just, it's just crazy how you can hold so many books in just this little tablet and you can kind of use it for everyday life really. And it's literally the size of, you know, my hand it's literally just it's just crazy so number three is crap books like coming across crap books is inevitable like if you love some if you're someone that loves books like i do and you're buying and reading a lot of books you are going to come across crap books like for me i thought 5am club was a really crap book i i thought it was rubbish like i started the book made a couple highlights read on read on and i thought this book is shit this is a shit book like i just couldn't stand it and obviously because I brought it, I couldn't do anything. I couldn't sell it, I couldn't recycle it because I've already made notes and highlights. So I've literally just got a book there sitting and it's just mocking me now because I could replace that with two other books because it's quite a thick book. But obviously not all books are gonna resonate or give you any value. But it's obviously a seamless cloud. If you don't like it, then you can obviously just delete it. And in some cases, like with audiobooks, you can literally replace your credit for another book. So if you want, if you brought, I don't know, if you brought Essentialism by Greg McKern on audiobook and you didn't like it, you can kind of swap that for another book. Um, that's kind of like the feature I like and kind of like the seamless cloud that, you know, is on the Kindle slash Amazon devices. But obviously all we want to do is make lives a little bit easier. And I think the way to go is utilizing these gadgets and these little bits of tech to make us productive as a whole. Don't get me wrong, I am still going to be buying my books. I love my books. I love the feel, I love the smell. Oh, you can't beat it, mate. Yeah, I am um, definitely going to still be buying books. I will not be putting them above my head because I might die. And I'm going to be putting them downstairs. But yeah, definitely utilising the bits of tech to make us more productive is definitely the way to go. Um, so make sure you like the video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you in the next video. Peace.